Hey YouTube, this Premiere Pro course has some exercise files. There's a link here. You can go and check them out. They are free to go and download. Uh, also note that there is a playlist in the bottom here in the description that will link you to the rest of the videos in this free playlist. All right, it is time to go learn some Premiere Pro. Hi there, in this video we're going to add all three of our videos and edit them up so that there's nice transitions and I get rid of all the ums and ahs and we get all the good takes. So let's go and learn how to do all the editing. Okay, so editing, we're going to learn two techniques. We're going to drag the ends and use something called the razor tool. Um, what you want to do now is pause this video, okay, and just go and watch this by hitting spacebar and just let it play through and you'll see the stops and starts. Okay, so pause it now, go. Did you pause it? Maybe you did, maybe you didn't. Okay, but um, I actually make three kind of false starts. This happens quite a bit when I'm recording myself. Okay, as you can see there. Hi there. Hi there. And then. Hi there. Hi there. Hi there. Lots of hi there's, okay. And the final one, I get a take. Now you can kind of see how I was easily able to jump to different parts because I can see this waveform down the bottom. So the first thing I do whenever I start editing is to make this bigger so I can actually start to see the little humps and valleys. So to do that, you hover above kind of anywhere in here. Can you see underneath? So look for A1 and then down the bottom, there's a black line just underneath the word A1. Grab that and just drag it bigger. Okay. And you can start to see this a little easier. This just allows you to really edit by the waveform rather than like just watching this and listening to it, you can just actually start to see stuff. You can see here, that's probably where it ends. Okay, about there. And then there's something happens. And then what happens at the end? Me mumbling. Okay, so yeah, edit via the waveform is pretty cool. So what we're gonna do is the first and easiest way is to click on it. Okay, and then you can see if you hover your cursor at the end uh, or the beginning, you get this kind of like red, you're looking for the red one with the arrow, either way. Okay, and what you're gonna do is just drag it up to kind of cut it in there and then drag it this way to trim off the end mumbling bit. Okay, so give that a go, drag it up, drag that one that way. And when bef before we're finished, what we'll do is we'll drag, drag this, this part where it says talking head one. Okay, drag this middle chunk here and just click hold and drag it and it should snap, kind of like fix itself to the beginning. So push it, push it, push it all the way to the beginning here. Now grab your playhead, drag it all the way back. Hit spacebar. Hi there, my name is Dan and I'm a grip. Okay, not too bad. And I'm gonna to skip to the end here. Hit spacebar. Very cool conference. There's a little bit of an awkward, like me still looking at the camera. If you are in charge of filming people, you need something called pre-roll and post-roll. So don't get them to get up and start laughing at the end. They need to kind of like try and hold for a little bit at the end. So you've got some transitional stuff so you can do some blurs and fades and stuff. But anyway. Um, let's zoom in a little bit. Remember our shortcut is plus on your keyboard up next to your nine key. Okay, so plus a couple of times. And what I can do is I can grab this end and just drag it in a bit more from the beginning. The front I was happy with, okay. If you've done it wrong, you're like, oh, I've cut off too much. What you can do is just drag this top bit across so you've got a bit more room and then just drag it out again. Now, when you're dragging this, you're not deleting it. It is always there. All the extra bits are always there. You're never kind of like permanently removing. You're just kind of like trimming up like a mask, okay? And then I'm gonna drag it back to the beginning. Hi there. So have a play around, get those two end bits in. So you've got uh, Talking Head 1 working, and then we're gonna look at another tool. Okay, so go and do that. Good work. Okay, and now let's go to Talking Head 2. Let's click, hold and drag it. And I'm gonna drag it just after talking head one. Okay, and I'm gonna minus, okay, to zoom out a little bit so I can see it all. And we could, again, okay, I have two false starts. There's this weird bit at the beginning. Me <clears throat> coughing. Okay, then there's this bit. In this course. In this course. In this course. In this course. So I start twice. So the second time is the one that I get. So I could just drag the ends again, like I just did for this first clip. But what we're gonna do is learn the other really common way of editing is using the razor tool. This is like your tool panel. If you've come from any other Adobe product, they're normally kind of over here on the left. This one here is jammed into this tiny little point down here. Okay, and this is the other one we'll use quite a bit called the razor tool. And it is literally, watch this, click once on that side, click once on that side. I've kind of like trimmed it up a little bit. Go back to your selection tool, click on this first bit, hit delete, second bit, delete. Okay, so the razor tool just puts a slice in it instead of dragging the ends. Okay, and you can just delete parts. I'm gonna check it, go to the beginning, hit spacebar. I think there's a bit of a weird stuff at the beginning with me licking my lips. Okay, so I'm gonna zoom in. 
and I'm actually just gonna drag this end point here. You'll notice that it really wants to stick to the playhead. So if your playhead's in the wrong place, it can be a bit of a pain, but if, it, if you get it to right where you want it, it's actually quite good at snapping to that point. Okay, let's have a look at the end. Okay, to scrub along, okay, I wanna to get to the end here, but I can't see it. See this bar down here? Don't grab these end points just the middle of it, and you can drag it along that middle bit there. Okay, and get to the end. Graphic design. It's a bit long at the end there as well, so I'm gonna trim off this end. Let's use our razor tool. Okay, the shortcut is C to get to the razor tool, and then V back to the move tool. So C, click, V, delete. And all you're doing is, you can see there if I hover above it, there's the V in the brackets there, and C. And watch it, C, V, C, V. See the icon's changing? Okay, so that can be a cool little shortcut. So zooming all the way out, I can hit minus, but we're gonna do one more little shortcut. Okay, so I promise not to do too many. All we've got is minus and plus and C and V. Let's add one more. Okay, and look at your keyboard. Okay, it's underneath the delete key on lots of keyboards. Okay, this is in front of uh, the keyboards that I've got here. It's the backslash key. Okay, so it's next to the square brackets underneath delete, just above your return key. You can kind of see it in the top right of your keyboard often. Yours might be in a slightly different place. It's backslash, not forward slash. Okay, just click on it, and it shows you everything that's in your timeline. It's kind of like fit to page, or zooms out to like 100% uh, of your timeline so you can see everything. So I'm gonna click this one, hold it, and drag it so it's banged up next to this guy. There's a bit of an awkward transition, watch. Just kind of jumps, and we'll do some transitions a little bit later on, but those are the two main ways you're gonna do your editing. Drag the ends, use the razor tool. So whichever technique you prefer to use, let's do it for talking head three. Drag it onto the end here, and I want you to trim it up. I'm going to zoom in, and I'm gonna drag it probably. I like to get my playhead, like just before I start talking, you can see him up there. And then if I drag it, snaps. Cool other little trick is that instead of clicking and dragging it to the beginning here, is you can just click in the empty space, see it goes white, hit delete on your keyboard, and it's like a way of deleting empty space. Scroll along a little bit, before. Okay, now you might notice there's some weird bits where the camera doesn't zoom properly, but we'll ignore that for the moment, we'll fix that up. Okay, so I'm gonna get it to about there, drag the end in, nice. Remember, backslash, we'll show you your whole timeline, back to the beginning, and now you should hit spacebar and watch it all the way through. Hi there, my name is Dan. But I've seen it, I know this guy, I know this course and tutorial, okay? Um, and my cuts are okay here. All right, so that's it for the basics of editing. One thing you might find is when you are playing back and you hit, go back to the beginning here, hit space bar, it's playing just fine, but as soon as you add, say maybe some animation or some lower thirds kind of like type that we'll do a little bit later on, yours might be even now struggling just to play back the video because you're on a really crappy computer. Okay, so up the top here, under your we're in our program window, you can see there's an option here that says full. That's trying to play it back at full resolution. You might decide like, well, you might just be forced to jump down to half resolution or quarter, okay, because your computer is just not capable of playing. Mine's keeping up fine. Video is pretty stressful though. So go to half. You'll notice that like, well, I'll go down to quarter. Now hit space bar. And, and can you see it's kind of just a bit blurry now? Sharp, Adobe blurry. Spot. Okay, it's just a way of making it go faster. In Premiere Pro, it doesn't change the export quality at the end. Okay, so you might switch it down to quarter just while you're working in here. All right, my friends, that is the basics of editing. Uh, let's go and look at the next video where we get into some cool stuff called B-roll. Hey, if you enjoyed my video, please like. Also consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Note that that is a free extract from my larger Premiere Pro course that you can check out on bringyourownlaptop.com. Uh, it's really inexpensive, and as part of Premiere Pro, you also get After Effects, motion graphics, animated infographics, data visualization, uh, lots of video stuff, plus lots of web and graphic design products as well. Uh, so check that out. It's all at bringyourownlaptop.com. Bye now.